My fellow Bermudians and friends, Christmas is a time of the year when we reconnect. Family, friends, faith and fellowship come to mind in this festive season. I love this time of the year. I appreciate the smiles, the warmth and our determined spirit. We have a wonderful diversity of religion, culture and races. We have an incredible opportunity to build one another together. My Christmas this year truly began with the delightful experience of the informal tree trimming ceremony on cabinet grounds. It was a joy to see the sparkle and pleasure in the eyes of the children as they worked together to decorate three trees. They didn't know each other, yet pulled together in an exciting bundle of energy and enthusiasm. A few of the children touched my sweater as it was soft and had sparkles on it. They were disarming and captivating. They allowed some of the cabinet office staff and ministers to pick them up so they could hang candy canes and Christmas tree decorations at the top of the trees. One little girl, Zai, asked me if I liked having people always take my picture. She turned away when she saw the cameras. I smiled and said, it doesn't matter. It's part of my job. Her younger sister, Zaida, then asked me, did I like being premier? I laughed and said yes, but sometimes more than others. The concert, despite it being a chilly evening, was wonderful and warming to the heart. A special thank you to all who made the evening memorable. As we get pleasure in making Christmas especially happy for our children, let us cherish these moments. They don't stay little for too long. I look at my own son. He's no longer a little boy, but growing up to be quite the young man. He will soon outstrip his father in height. He has long surpassed my height. I look at him and think about the man he will grow up to be. So cherish these moments. Are we ever quite ready for Christmas? It seems to creep up on us even though it comes the same time every year. When we ask each other, are we ready for Christmas? Usually we're talking about cooking, cleaning, clearing out the debris, and of course shopping for presents. But these are not usual times. Given our concerns about our own personal circumstances, the real question is not so much whether we are ready, but what kind of Christmas can we afford? The financial pain is real throughout our community. Clearly, this is a severely testing time for all, especially for those struggling to make ends meet. The recession has redefined the financial realities of this holiday season, though it doesn't change the reason for the season. God's gift to the world for those of us of the Christian faith refuses to be defined purely in economic terms. Equally real are the many acts of caring and generosity by our churches and civic organizations, each going the extra mile to assist in these trying times. Many provide help without fanfare or public recognition, and we truly appreciate their unselfishness and their efforts. The government's helping agencies and our charities will continue to do all to assist those in need. It will continue post-Christmas. This holiday season, let us come together and share the important gifts that have no financial cost. The gift of love, the gift of compassion, the gift of forgiveness. This is also a time for us to remember those that may have lost a loved one or who do not have anyone special in their life. Many of us will see the new year that is fast approaching as a new beginning. It's my hope that in the coming year, we will not forget the bonds of family or the ties that bind us as a community. Let us enter the new year believing in ourselves, believing in Bermuda, and in our capacity to create a better tomorrow. I extend warm wishes on behalf of the whole of government and their families for a peaceful and joyous Christmas. And on behalf of our family, we, we would, would like, like to, to say, say Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.